Hello. Uh, quite a bold choice, I think, for the first poem. It's essentially an update. It's a generic work poem. It's an update of the old rhyme, Tinker, Tailor, Soldier, Sailor, Rich Man, Poor Man, Beggar Man, Thief, which some of you here will know continues, Doctor, Lawyer, Indian, Chief. Did anybody know that? Not many people know that last bit, but it's, it's true. It's part, it's part of it. It actually opens up the professions, if you think about it, with Doctor and Lawyer. And with Indian, Chief, suggests the possibility of a management role. <laughs> or, if you're from Totnes and Devon, like myself, of a shamanic path. But this is, this is simply called prune stone oracle because it's the update of that, and I still actually do do, you know, count, counting out with the... Um, actually, I don't use prune stones or cherry stones. I use olive stones these days because my life has moved on from there. So, tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor, affluent, effluent, banker man, brief, drinker, abstainer, personal trainer, rich man, pure man, beauty, beast, actor, voyeur, pagan, priest... Starlet, pilot, stylist, harlot, bright spark, damp squid, top dog, dipstick, washer up, usherette, husher up, shrink, chiropractor, astronaut, pimp. <laughs> Ball girl, cold corner, wide boy, curb crawler, high flyer, fall guy, poor cow, small fry, bricklayer, soothsayer, darts player, social worker, statistician, dietitian, fat controller. Nobody, somebody, somebody, nobody, pen pusher, wage slave, cannon fodder, dog's body, magistrate, agitator, high street prestidigitator, conjurer, registrar, hedge fund manager, farmer, palmist, media, huh. <laughs> Elvis impersonator, Ofsted inspector, Elvis impersonator, Ofsted inspector, off white van man, funeral director, busker, wrestler, condom tester. Dowser, rustler, behaviourist, geek, pacifist, panellist, IT specialist, analyst, fetishist, Freudian accountant, butler, bouncer, burglar, minder, monkey trainer, organ grinder. Chicken plucker, puffer up a pillow, faffer, blood sucker, chicken plucker, puffer up a pillow, faffer, blood sucker, compare, umpire, au pair, vampire, shadow spokesman. <laughs> Identity thief, doctor, lawyer, Indian chief. The end. <laughs> and this one, uh, as, as stated, through a glass hardly. It's for anybody who's ever experienced or think they might have experienced a glass ceiling. Possibly standing on one, possibly looking up. I don't know. <clears throat> excuse me. Why is my career stalling? Have my standards <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> unwanted amphibium. <laughs> Why is my career stalling? Have my standards somehow fallen? Others' standards quietly lifted? Have the magic goalposts shifted? Am I such an awful ogress? What could block my upward progress? Am I simply out of touch, too feminine, too butch, too much? Have I been too soft and silent, other times too strong and strident, too supine, sanguine, bovine, ursine, candidly? Is it my star sign? Is my ego growing swollen? Have I misused a semicolon, thought too far outside the box, sworn too freely, worn odd socks? Be honest, are there any clues? Is it my attitude, these shoes? Is my clothing too revealing or by contrast too concealing? Do I need, you know, enhancement? To procure career advancement. Is it hygiene? Go on, tell me. Have a quick sniff. You can smell me. <laughs> what makes me so unappealing? What about the bloody ceiling? It, it's glass, so what? It's... Oh, I see. Right. OK, well, in that case, anyone fancy a nice cup of tea? <laughs> Just ends like that. Oh, quick word. People, uh, people have asked me if, if I've got these books with me. Yes, I do. I've had two stolen already. <laughs> I know you didn't mean to. It looked like they were free, but they weren't. Um, <laughs> you know who you are. And nobody's leaving. Anyway, um, just picking up very briefly on the don't script empathy. I was a very strong message from, from Charles Ledbetter. Um, there is actually a really good script on empathy in here. <laughs> Empath man, superhero for our time, fights crime through his advanced listening skills. <laughs> Wasn't always empath man, took part in a drugs trial that went horribly wrong. It was an anti-pessimism drug they were trialling for, uh, called Optiagra. <laughs> for middle-aged men who find it difficult to get their hopes up. <laughs>
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just had to mention that. <coughs> Time management. Impossible. Uh, if, or at best, Ebna. Um, to think that time, of all things, can be managed as if a team or medical condition and not the yester moment ever vanished. Lift music, teacher, healer and beautician. Pick up an old saw. If you need to, tweak it. Pull fingers out, socks up and get your skates on. Sew something. Great. Wait for it. Wait. Wait. Reap it. A million cliché users can't be wrong. Time heals all wounds and yet it gives no quarter. Time flies and yet takes longer than you think to lead the horse you changed midstream to water. A watched clock never boils unless you blink. The early bird catches the worm, it said. That's why the wise worm turns and stays in bed. <laughs> Yes, the, the results of that decided me on, on which poem to read. This is, uh, uh, this is for the ageing working population, or those uh, who are ref re refusing to retire, um, that Charles, <laughs> Charles Lepeter called the, the w wanting to be capable contributors, and it's called Silence of the Dominoes. If you think about it, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> What's that sound? It's so unsettling. I think I'd better, I'd better put the kettle on. You can call us coots and geezers, codgers, biddies, hags and wheezers. Give us murray mints and mintos when we asked you for Maltesers. But we're the comeback generation. We're confounding expectation that we stay home with our succulents. And no, we're not on medication. We prefer to call them supplements. We're retiring from retirement, so good riddance to good riddance. It's no longer a requirement. Acquiesce to being a pensioner. It's the first step to dementia. <laughs> Though it might sound contradictory, we are old dogs with new trickery. We're shrugging off the stereotypes, and though some of us are very old tykes, who do inhale Vicks vapours, write broadsides to local papers, and say, what's that in old money? <laughs> But we've known our share of darker times, and no, these are not laughter lines. Nothing's quite that funny. Yes, our faces are more lived in, we're reflective, not defective, and we don't do heavy lifting, and our hearing is selective. <coughs> so what's that sound you find so ominous? It's the silence of the dominoes. <laughs>